did it. I want to know. Curse me. <laughs> I was going trying to deliver my bricks <laughs> trying to deliver my load of bricks i broke down in downtown st paul <sighs> what am i gonna do so what had happened was <laughs> oh my goodness i got a video on snapchat it was saying transmission let me see I was just driving, said transmission fault, stop driving or transmission damage will occur. So I stopped driving and now it's like all this stuff is popping up, like this exclamation point right here, this X, these two, uh, these two uh, caution symbol thingies, my jigs. I saying I got no gears, when I put it in drive, it doesn't, uh, or neutral, reverse, drive, whatever, it says I have no gears. So. This truck was acting weird like two days ago, two or three days ago. I had to call MHC because it wasn't letting me reverse. And now it's doing this. So I called MHC for a breakdown assistance and they're sending a tech out. And so now I'm just waiting again. I'm just play the waiting game. All right, y'all. Just made it to my delivery and it's a school. They're building a new school and this is what it's looking like. Man, it took me forever to find this place. Whew. Have I been going through some trouble today? Or this week? We're out here delivering. Delivering these bricks. For a school building. I'm building a school building. <laughs> requested um, shut down stop vehicle before you damage the transmission stuff like that so uh, I've got I had to pull over on the side of the road about four times today it just did it just now actually I turned my truck off and then the guy told me to I need to pull up more and then I went to go turn my truck on and it wouldn't let me move so there's something wrong with my truck now uh, so they're gonna try to get me a load going to Arkansas I might be getting into a different truck. Um, that's what the VP told me, Marshall, who's in my last video. I might be, be put in a different Kenworth. I'm not sure yet because they're going to try to fix this one. So I don't got to be sitting down. They might put me in a different one. 
but I don't know what they would do but with my headache rack. I can't lose my headache rack. <laughs> so I'm hoping the, the problem ain't that serious so I can at least make it to Arkansas and they can get it into the MHC or their shop and even get it fixed. So uh, that's kind of what I've been, I've been dealing with this week. Some truck breakdowns. Lost the tire. My first tire I lost with the step deck. That other tire I lost was with the flat that I had. But yeah, this dude's, this sucks for this dude because these bricks are layered in three pallets. So that's why it's taking so long. I was just messing, I was just messing around with you guys. I wasn't talking crap about this dude. Just a joke. Everything I say is just jokes. Don't take it too serious. I'm not gonna lie, before this, I got lost in a neighborhood. So, <laughs> you guys, if you go into a job site, just make sure you got a, you got a contact. I did not have a contact. Uh, for this I had a name for a contact but I did not have a number so but yeah you always want to make sure I already know that I should have I should have been prepared for that should have had my contact should have knew where I was going on the map before I came here so I wouldn't have got lost huh Ziki we get lost in people's neighborhood <laughs> but I might not get a, a reload today because it is 1 p.m. I think it's about to be 1 p.m. something like that so uh, just crossing my fingers I get that reload and I get it going to Arkansas so I can get fixed up and I don't get stuck somewhere. Alright y'all there ain't no loads out here. Uh, I'm in the middle of nowhere in Minneapolis in Virginia, Minneapolis or <laughs> Minneapolis, Minnesota. I'm in Virginia, Minnesota. I'm, I'm going towards Minneapolis because there's nothing out here. So uh, that's what I meant to say. Sorry. Of this side of the company right here he said they burned down three months ago so <laughs> Zeke what you weirdo so I'm gonna be loading out of this building right here and he said I gotta wait till the morning he said sorry I would I would load you up but I can't cuz you're getting loaded out the other building so uh, I'm gonna go ahead wait I was about to run out of time anyways I got one hour on my cycle I'm gonna be running my recap so uh, can't can't really do much anyway so I would have been able to get loaded tonight and just shut her down but oh well it is what it is I'll just get loaded in the morning say good morning I'll say good morning <laughs> all right y'all we're in Park Falls Wisconsin that loader yesterday said I was gonna get loaded like 5 36 in the morning he's a liar too it's like 8 a.m. it's 8 30 in the morning right now guys Hmm. But uh, he's gonna be loaded. It's a lumber load. Exactly what I thought it was gonna be. Got my straps all on my load. Right now I'm walking around and grabbing these cards off the lumber I got. Apparently I gotta go down the block a little bit and turn these in to get my BOL. Don't know what type of shit this is, but... Don't know what type of labor this is. <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> uh, I feel like 
the forklift drivers need to do this. Making it too much work now. I'm gonna rip rip these up, dude. These don't just come off how they're supposed to, huh? <laughs> come on, dude. No wonder why they had all that mosquito repellent out there at that gas station I walked over to. I'm getting bit up by mosquitoes in Wisconsin, guys. This is not fun. I feel them all over my back and shoot. I'm getting bit on my back. I already killed like three of them in my truck. Now I just gotta tighten down, bring these to the office down there, and I get my BOL. <laughs> <sighs> I'm gonna get bit by more mosquitoes. Oh. Up, this lumber load is going to Springfield, Kentucky. I have actually never delivered a load in Kentucky, guys. So this is gonna be my first load going to Kentucky. Woo -woo. And I'm still getting bit by mosquitoes in my freaking cab, man. I got mosquito bites all over my mosquito bites. <laughs> mosquito bites all over my bag. Bug spray if you come to Wisconsin. Just saying. We've got the mosquitoes out here. Alright, I'm weighing on a quick trip right now. Their scale sound like it's about to break when I pulled on it. I'm getting kind of scared. I'm about to pull up right here. Go in and get my ticket. You guys, this was the first scale. Close to me by place I got loaded at did not have a scale and this was like three hours away the first quick trip with the scale from my pickup so that was awesome so if you're overweight you're screwed we're back on the road again folks got my shower my food for the night because I'm running out of hours and all these darn traffic jams Ugh. losing all the, the hours of my cycle I'm not even gonna have enough hours to get there tomorrow so uh, I'm shutting her down so that's just a waste of time I'm better off leaving in the morning and uh, making it to my delivery and then probably hopefully getting a pickup right now it's not looking too good I, t I was supposed to be getting there at 10 a.m. Now it's looking more like 12.30. I lost like two and a half hours in, uh, sitting in traffic, so. All right, y'all, yeah, slept in the Chicago uh, service plaza, and now I got all these people all around me, behind me, on the side of me, in front of me, this side. Got this dude back here. I gotta try to back up out of here. I'm gonna go look at my surroundings real quick. All right, y'all, we made it in one piece to this lumber delivery place. Thought it was gonna be an Amish. I thought it was going to be an Amish delivery, but it's not. <laughs> it's a big business, so I'm going to go ahead and get on strap. Looks like I got a load of hay picking up tomorrow in Indiana. You know we love them hay loads, baby.
you know, pick up some hay in the morning, it looks like. No tarp hay, baby. Whoop, whoop. Good morning, y'all. I just woke up in Seymour, Indiana. I deadheaded there yesterday after I dropped off my lumber load. And right now, I'm heading down the street. I'm like, oh, what's that noise? I am going seven miles down the road to pick up a hay load. And I think it's the round hay bales, which I've never hauled before. So, usually it's just like the square ones, so. <laughs> Uh, I'm about to head down there, pick up this hay, pick up this hay. <laughs> and then it's going to Hollis, Oklahoma. Um, and I'm taking it through to our yard, I believe, to get my truck looked at. So, because my truck is kind of undoing it like on and off. Um, randomly, it tells me to stop driving my truck. Uh, I'm going to dam damage the transmission and all these warnings and it says i have no gears my gears like disappear really weird um but it has been going on and off i've been stopping the truck turning the key turning the key off turning the truck off and uh, letting it sit opening the door closing it putting the key back in starting her back up sometimes the truck won't start back up and i'll have to wait or do that 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 uh sequence like all over again and then get it started and then start rolling so it's working but it's pretty dang annoying uh i don't know if I, they're gonna put me in a the, the guy marshaled off said they might put me in a new truck um but i think that would just be temporary i don't know so they said this truck had problems with the last driver that was in it, it was doing the same thing and they thought it got fixed but apparently it didn't huh zeke so uh about to get do my pre-trip of my truck trailer and you go pick up this hay down the road and uh head to Van Buren, Arkansas with it. <laughs> these things are huge but uh and then I got one strap on the back back here on this back bale the front and the back got one strap that go across them and hug them together <laughs> I've always wanted to haul these guys the, the, the circle bay the circle bay <laughs> the circle hay bales I think they're pretty cool. I think they're cooler than the square ones. I don't know why. They're not, they're not, they're annoying to haul because you got, you get hay all over you, but it's all right. I'm all itchy now. I wish I would have got that one falling on record. That was funny. But this is what we're loading, guys. The guy said he's gonna get up there and I'll throw him up my straps and he can put them down where I say. So this should be easy. picked up my hay there uh they the farmers didn't give me any paperwork so 
I had to ask the broker for some paperwork for my hay so I can haul it. <laughs> and I got a, I'm about to go take a shower because I got hay all over me. I am dirty as hell. But I'm about to put my rolling in the hay shirt on. It's only right because I'm, because I'm hauling hay. Oh, I got something on it. Never mind. I'm about to wear my rolling in the hay shirt because it's only right because I'm hauling hay. <laughs> Came up here to get a shower. The guy goes when I when I went to go buy a shower. Goes is there an event? Is there some type of event going on or something? But he's like, you're like the fifth person who came out of shower today. I'm like, oh no. I'm like, I don't know. I'm like, I'm a truck driver. That's the why. That's the reason why I'm getting a shower. <laughs> don't think he thought I was a truck driver. And he's like, oh, I'm sorry. I was just asking because uh, usually they they have some racing events down the road and uh, they don't have any shower facilities there. I was like, oh, okay. I guess I didn't look like the average truck driver to him. <laughs> All right, y'all. This hay bale right here, <laughs> I think I hit one of them trees on the little country roads. A little, there's a little branch up top there. I don't know if you can see it. <laughs> and it knocked it sideways, that top bale right there. That's the one we were having problems with in the first place that fell off you see it slanted so uh, I went and added this strap right here I'm about to tighten her up hopefully that will will fix the issue it sucks because all my winches are on this side of the trailer so if I had a winch on the other side it'd be pulling the other direction but uh for right now this is gonna have to do this is the only thing I'm having a problem with so far I just got done taking a shower too gosh darn it all right guys so pulling out of that farm there was a low tree and it looks like the tree branch hit it and pushed the hay sideways so it's that stubborn piece of hay that he was having problems with in the first place and now look at it this guy at the ta said they got a forklift and they might bring it out he's trying to get somebody to bring it out and push this over for me if not i'm not that far down from the shipper and then these guys right here doing construction work said they would push it for me too. So if the TA doesn't, but uh, it's already been about 40 minutes I've been waiting. Oh my goodness. It's leaning pretty bad. I don't know if you can tell, but yeah, look how much. <laughs> oh. trying to hit on me. I'm just trying to get my load fixed. <laughs> oh shit. Let's go check the other side now. Oh my goodness, it looks like it's pushed out again. A little bit. Uh, I think it's better than it was. It went through it again! It went 
through the hay again. It, this darn strap keeps going in this hay. He's going straight through it. Straight through that crack. So he got me a little fixed up. He said this hay is really loose hay. He said he does not like it. And he told me I better keep an eye on this thing. He said they're circle hay bales, but he said they rolled them really loosely. He said they, these are just gonna keep falling on you. So, uh, oh, hay sucks, you guys. So much for my shower. Came right back to the truck stop, took a shower. And then started working on my load again. <laughs> I guess you gotta tighten these down. The square hay bales, they don't want you digging into the hay. And the circle ones are different. You gotta tighten it down as much as you can, I guess. But the, the square hay bales, the farmers don't like you tightening it down too much. Cause it dents, it gets into the hay. Lose, lose more hay. And they don't like it very much. All right, y'all, I think we should be good. I think we're all set. God bless that guy right there. He saved my life. Shout out to Nick. It was nice meeting you. Met a fellow follower here. He already walked away. I did not have my GoPro out. I'm sorry, Nick. But it was nice to meet you and thanks for saying hi <laughs> all right now i got my hay fixed i'm heading out back on the road let's go oh my gosh i'm just about to start my shift all right y'all i made it to cuba missouri that's missouri right yeah cuba missouri this load moves again i'm pretty sure i've been keeping it tight this these things are just rolled loose this load is a disaster. And now it's leaning back here too. And I got another hay bale on the other side poking out now. I'm about to show you. I'm taking this load through the yard in Arkansas before I deliver it to get my truck looked at. So they got a forklift there. So I'm hoping it can be pushed in. Why does that blue truck right there look familiar? It looks familiar. Oh, others will get jacked. 
Made a pit stop in Joplin, Missouri. Still heading to Arkansas to our yard. Gonna tell them this load needs to be fixed. I'm starting to stress out, guys, not gonna lie. I'm tired of staring at this load. I'm tired of being worried about it. I tried to add that ratchet strap in the front. It really didn't do anything. It just keeps dragging and dragging. And uh, Zeke and Benji just managed to piss on each other's heads. Uh, trying to pee on that chair down there. So now they both got uh, heads full of piss. And uh, yeah, we're just chilling. You already know, we stopped at the Big Apple. We got to get some uh, Indian food. I'm about to eat some of this in my truck real quick and then head on to the yard. I think I'm about two hours from the yard right now. So not too bad, bro. Let's just hope. You guys cross your fingers this hay stays on i don't lose no hay and it doesn't keep leaning just cross your fingers and pray <laughs> all right y'all just grabbed on my indian food a little bit just got a little bit of indian food i'm uh oh my god this load is leaning i'm 133 miles away toolbox and it's pretty cool from what I hear it's pretty cool from what I have heard from my boss so uh, he's gonna go ahead and get one installed on my trailer for me and uh, I'm about to go ahead in and check it out I guess this this guy who designed this bunker it's called bunker I'm pretty sure toolbox is here at our shop um, he came to set up a display. My boss is also making a chrome shop at our art transport um, office where we park all our trucks and stuff, our yard, whatever. He's making his own little chrome shop because there's no chrome shops out here. So uh, we're gonna go and check out this toolbox. He's also got some type of coil rack made in here. I'm gonna go in here, talk to this guy, the owner of this box that I'm about to get installed. I don't know when, I don't know if today. Got all those chrome accessories. Got the open sign. Hi. Hi. <laughs> this is the bunker box. Yes. <laughs> how are you? Good. How are you? Good. So. So what you got here? Uh, I'm Pat Dow. I'm with Bunker Trader Accessories out of Pulp City, Oklahoma, and we're setting up a new display in a in a new showroom and a new shop for uh, car transportation and and uh, so we make uh, some patent we have a patented product and a patent pending product uh, we're making two styles of dunnage racks and one of the things that sets our unit apart is you do not have to weld or drill holes uh, in your trader frame so it can easily be moved from one trader to another if you trade traders and uh, it'll work on aluminum, steel, so we can go on just about any trailer. And so this is our uh, patent pending dunnage rack. Uh, we have a picture here, kind of this obviously just a, a mock smaller unit. So it's made for full length uh, four by fours. Uh, this one will hold uh, about 20 uh, four by fours. If there's no bracing, trader bracing in the box, it'll usually hold about 14 if they are. And you can either use uh, your fifth wheel pin puller that you can just release the arm, falls down out of your way, put your boards in or out and out of your, and then the spring loaded arms just snap back into place and hold it in place. And then 
We make also make a coil rack here, so there's a picture of that. And it's to organize your coil racks that we all know are a pain, aren't they? Yeah. Yeah, they are. <laughs> and so it just comes out. You take your full your coil racks out, use them as you need it on your trader, and then you put them. And the good thing about this is obviously it gets them out of your bunk, it gets them out of your tarp box, wherever you currently have them and it puts them back there on the trader where you're going to need a lot of traders you know they'll have a sign on there you know low coil here yeah so it can put them back there kind of close to where you need them but the big thing is it gets them out of your box because these are all new and they all look shiny but we all know that they don't stay like that very long and they get bent up you throw your tarp on top of them and they get bent up and they'll rub a hole in your tarp or your you put them in your bunk and your hoodies underneath them <laughs> and so then we also make a couple of things where one of the options we have is you can put so we can sell a dunny rack only we also offer more of a basket style uh, for those that need to haul shorter boards a lot of shorter boards or maybe there's you know other things that they're wanting to haul they have more options than, than just, you know, that's kind of designed for dunnage only. And then we offer what we call a full platform, which extends to the other side of the trailer. And so you can mount a 18 inch by 18 toolbox, which is what this is, 18 high, 18 wide. That is actually a 60. So those outside arms are 72 inches. So you can mount an 18 by 18 up to 72 inch long box on top of that across the, on the other side of your trailer from your dunny track, okay? And so this is, uh, I guess, a, a smaller version of that. So this is just, you know, a, a cam lock toolbox. Uh, we're, we're not in the market of selling toolbox. We do not manufacture them, uh, but we're trying to provide a, a platform. Uh, so you basically kind of get a, uh, you kind of get a toolbox mount, you know, in addition to your dunny track. So it all works off the same mounting system which is a clamp mounting system. So that's where you do not have to weld or drill holes. So there's patent pending on this and uh, it just clamps on to aluminum or steel. And then uh, we had a lot of right in our owners at uh, Mid-America Truck Show when we were at that. And uh, since they're not an I-beam style frame, uh, our original, our dunnage racks will mount to a right in our trader. That's a right in our trader in that picture. but our uh, coil racks ha needs an I-beam to, hold, to mm -hmm. hold on to. So we uh, designed this when we got back. And so basically it's the same, uh, works the same as the original coil mount. It, just, it, is, it will bolt to any uh, flat surface. So this does need to be mounted, but it will bolt to the top of most toolboxes, anywhere you have enough room to, or the catwalk of the truck or anywhere. And it could be mounted vertical for that reason just wherever there's enough re uh, room so it's got these handy dandy pins but you can also put a padlock on there if you want to lock it so that's about it pretty snazzy pretty snazzy thank you, thank you. <laughs> is this website? is this your website right here yes so our website's uh, www.bunker without an e so b-u-n-k-r bunkertrader.com all right, guys, if you guys want to go check out any of this, this cool stuff this guy invented, you guys can go ahead to his website at bunkrtrailer.com and go check it out. Check out the prices and stuff. See what else you think is snazzy. <laughs> no, I got to get your input. Okay, well, basically, build hay like this. I would not be able to take your hay. hand and run it like that. That is very unsafe that's why it's leaning is because it's finally compacted down there it wasn't packed tight enough yeah the, the bottom ones are giving way yeah well between the weight between the weight of them on top and then and the strap the straps get loose right away and i was scared to keep tightening it because when i kept tightening it it seems like it got worse it's because they're not tight enough and it's just sucking them down well this where, where is it going to hollis oklahoma I think I went out of the way to come here. We need to get a hold of the broker. They need to get another truck out here and a way to pull this down. Because that right there is a danger to everyone. Yeah. I got. I stopped and added that a ratchet strap today. I bought one to see if it was going to do anything, but it didn't. It didn't do anything. So I'm like, I'm not going to get no more. Well, 
I don't think you want to stick your hand in hay because there's snakes in there sometimes. But yeah. seriously, that right Really? There. Oh, yeah. yeah. Or bales? Because what happens is when they're belling the hay there and everything, the snakes on the ground get wrapped right up in it. Yeah. Oh my I god. I've picked up square bales before and it's like, hey! <laughs> yeah. Hey, hey, hey. I get it. Yeah. yeah, no, that's. The thing about it is, if you go to loosen the strap, you use the back hole to try to push it. Yeah. Yeah, it's too much. <laughs> waiting for you. <laughs> They're trying to steal my hay bales. They're trying to steal it. <laughs> That's from the tree when I pulled out of the guy's farm. <laughs> What are you guys putting it? <laughs> What's up guys? I am on my way to Dallas right now from the yard in Arkansas. It is Saturday, it's the weekend. I am going to Dallas. I got an ortho appointment coming up. And I'm gonna try to get Benji to the vet if I can. Um, I got a couple other things I wanna do while I'm here. And uh, they are gonna be trying to fix my load today, I believe, or try to get somebody to come with a tractor or something like that. Uh, my boss, Jason, didn't want me leaving in the yard with the load the way it is. So um, they're gonna be working on that while I go to Dallas. Um, or they're gonna have somebody come, come uh, fix the load up for me. So when I come back, I can go ahead and deliver it. The farmer didn't roll the hay 
tight enough, you can literally just stick your hand all the way through it. That's why I was having problems with it the whole ride um, over here to the yard. Uh, and that's why the straps really weren't doing anything and just tightening them over and over again was actually making it worse because it was just squishing them together and compressing them and making them f lean to the left more um so it's like i just kept adding when i was adding the straps or whatever and tightening them every time i would stop i realized it was making it worse so i didn't even want to tighten my straps anymore but they were flapping but I just didn't know what to do, so I had to keep tightening it. It just kept getting worse. Um, but I've never, I've never had experience with those round hay bales before, so I didn't know that they weren't supposed to be like that. My boss said that they're supposed to be like a wall, like you put your hand on it, like it's supposed to be rough. Like, uh, <laughs> um, but anyways, that's why I was having problems with the that hay, the hay load. Um, so they're probably going to have another flatbed there to offload the top layer on to the other trailer and then I will take the bottom layer so um, we could transport it safely. If it's just one layer, it's not going to go anywhere obviously because it's just one layer across the trailer. Um, so hopefully we can get that done and I'll get that load, uh, that load of hay delivered and I don't have to worry about it anymore. And, uh, uh, I'm going to be looking into, my boss is looking into getting me some load levelers and some uh, ramps so I can start doing vehicles and stuff, cool stuff like that. You can get, get me some Humvees. Because <laughs> um, I do see there's a lot of those loads uh, on the load board that I'm missing out on. Missing out on some pretty cool loads uh, without my load levelers and uh, ramps. So that would be pretty cool if I can get some lightweight ramps. I got some tarps coming in. Uh probably in the next week or two so uh i should be be able to grab start grabbing some tarp loads also so that should be pretty cool i'm starting to miss tarping if i'm being honest but um i gotta be careful what i wish for i guess because i wish uh, i always wanted to do those round hay bales and then i got them and then i wish i never got them they were trying to fix the, trying to get those hay bales off with the little 1940s forklift that we do have on our yard, but um, obviously you guys seen that wasn't working out too good. <laughs> um, so yeah, they're hopefully they get somebody with the tractor to come down there and uh, fix fix us up. What's up, guys? It's your girl Big Rebecca. I am still in Dallas. I am recording on my phone. Sorry. I have my GoPro on me. I am at the car wash right now. I just finally cleaned the inside of my car. Off topic. But, um, <clears throat> I am going to be at the Houston Truck Show this weekend. Uh, the 23rd, 24th? Okay, yeah. This weekend, the 23rd and the 24th, I'm going to be there. Make sure you guys stop by, say hi. I'm pretty sure I'm going to have some merchandise being sold. There's some Big Rig Becca merch. I got a hoodie of my own, but I do not have it on. It is 100 degrees in Dallas right now. So, uh, fortunately, I'm not wearing it. But, uh, still have yet to get back to my truck. So, there's really no update on that um, or the load. So, uh, that'll be in my next video, maybe. But my next video is probably going to be the truck show. So, yeah, I'm going to be behind the Trucking 101 booth um, at the Houston Truck Show. Um... I'm pretty sure you have to register to go there. I don't know how that works. I've never been to a truck store before. But yeah, 23rd, 24th, Friday and Saturday. I'm going to be in Houston. If y'all want to say what's up, I'm going to be there um, behind the Trucking 101 booth. And uh, going to have some BRB merch. And that's about it. Um, so I'll probably see you guys in the next video at the trucking show. I say I run it, run it, cause I'm in control Hit it now, they to see a couple shots of Patron I ain't feeling the hype, I get your eyes to pay Party poppin' shawty says she comin' with me tonight I ain't self-delinin', I ain't snappin' and poppin' Neither I'm boppin' my head